The following is a sneak peek of Antonio Sayant's forthcoming book, Behind the Batch, My Journey with a Legendary Filmmaker on Law and Order, Special Victims Unit narrated by Ethan Smith. Chapter 1, How I Met Ted Kotcheff, The Beginning of a Mentorship. It was a casual encounter that changed my life. I had seen him many times in the lobby of my building, a distinguished-looking gentleman with a friendly smile. I always greeted him with a polite hello, but I never knew who he was. Until one day, my doorman pulled me aside and whispered, Do you know who that is? That's Ted Kotcheff, the legendary filmmaker. I was stunned. Ted Kotcheff was one of my heroes, a master of cinema who had directed some of the most iconic films of the 1970s and 1980s, such as First Blood, the first installment of the Rambo franchise starring Sylvester Stallone. He was also a prolific television director an executive producer, working on the acclaimed series Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. As an actor turned filmmaker myself, I had learned so much from his work and admired his style and vision. I decided to take a chance and introduce myself to him. I left my business card and a note with my doorman, expressing my admiration for his work and my desire to meet him. To my delight, he called me back and invited me to have breakfast with him. We hit it off right away and talked for three hours. He shared stories from his career gave me advice on filmmaking, and showed genuine interest in my projects. He was generous, humble, and inspiring. He asked me about my favorite actor and writer, Sylvester Stallone. He wanted to know what I admired about him. I said, Stallone knows how to connect with the audience and deliver what they want. He nodded and said, you're right. Stallone is not only a great actor, but also a multi-talented artist. He then said, you're an actor. I said, but I know how to tell a story. That was the right answer, but it was not enough. I had to prove myself to him over the next few months by meeting him regularly, emailing him my scripts, and pitching him my concepts. He finally gave me a chance to work with him as his protege. From 2007 to the emotional farewell in 2012, he has been my mentor and my friend. He taught me how to develop my own unique vision while also learning how to manage the budget and production of a high-rated network show. I owe him everything. Stay tuned for more. Keep following Antonio Sayon on his company's YouTube channel at The Salon Company for the latest updates on his forthcoming book and upcoming films and nationwide speeches.